kind of goes along with some of the things that's been said. I appreciate the Lord doing that. Genesis chapter 32 this evening, again in verse number 22. Very familiar passage of Scripture. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the four Jabbok, the he here in this case is Jacob. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of that place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Penuel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh and the sinew that shrank. You may be seated. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for peace in your house tonight, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for love and fellowship, Lord, and for people that love you, Lord. And because they love you, they love one another. Lord, them two things has to go together, and we thank you, Lord, and in Christians they always do. Lord, we pray, Lord, uh, uh, that, that we not forget those things that have been said tonight, Lord, that we would, Lord, uh, that, that, that when those who have said them were done, Lord, that we would carry them with us, Lord. And, uh, and Lord, that they'd be a help down through this week, Lord, for I know, Lord, that you did not send them by accident. Uh, Lord, that you don't send things to your house, Lord, by accident, but Lord, uh, uh, that if we're in obedience to your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you've got something for all of us to hear uh, that will be a help, that will be an upliftment, Lord, that will give us something, Lord, to feed off of down through this week. So, Lord, we thank you for the psalms and we thank you for the testimonies. And, Lord, now as we come to this part of the service, we ask you, Lord, to give us the words that are needful for the hour. Lord, to hide us as always behind the cross of Calvary, Lord, and let us preach thy word, Lord, in the strength of the flesh, but above all, Lord, in the power of the Spirit tonight, Lord. I will trust, Lord, your promise of your holy word that it will not return void, but, Lord, that it will accomplish that which you set it out to do, Lord. So, as always, Lord, we ask you to sit down in every road, Lord, sit down in every heart, Lord, and preach that message that each of us needs to hear. Lord, it would never be about us and them, but Lord, it would be about all of us and the power of thy holy word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and we love you. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Now this is one of those passages of Scripture that uh, we read it, uh, we reverence it, we mention it, we, we talk about it, but I don't think, or at least maybe I'm just speaking for myself, I don't know, you all can tell me if I'm wrong or not, uh, I, I don't think often we stop to think about how odd of a passage of Scripture it really is. How, uh, nowhere else would we read about in the Bible someone literally wrestling with God Almighty. We, 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 don't, we don't think about that. We, we say Jacob wrestled with the Lord and, and we skip, skip to apply that. And, I, and absolutely we want to apply that and that's good. But, but I don't think we stop and think how often that's odd. That, that, that's not, uh, if any of us are writing the book, none of us put this in there. If, if any of us are writing Jacob's life, none of us think about that. Uh, 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 and we don't think about, uh, when, when he says here, uh, and in verse number 25, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, the he that it's talking about here is the Lord. Uh, uh, that's the Lord saying he prevailed not against Jacob. We're talking about God who can speak, who doesn't even have to speak, think, uh, 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 and Jacob doesn't exist. Uh, 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 and yet he allowed himself to be down on Jacob's level there for a while. And then I think about Jesus. And any time, now I'm not going to get into the theology of that and, and, and just either accept it or don't and don't worry about it either way. Uh, but any time we read about uh, God, we never read about God the Father appearing in a, in a bodily form, if I could say it that way. If, I, if that makes sense. I, I hope you understand what I mean. So any time we read about, about someone physically handling someone that is God, we've got to be talking about Jesus. 
So uh, we we realize here that, uh, and I know it says in in in, in the uh, verse number twenty four wrestled with a man, uh, 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 but it's not just any man. Jacob didn't realize it at first. Uh, uh, verse number twenty eight it says, uh, and he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. Uh, uh, and that name Israel, what it actually means is he persists with God. And so that's why the Lord answers him in verse number 29 and said, said, said tell me, I, and Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. Wherefore, which means why. He said, so why are you asking what my name is? Essentially he's saying, I already told you because when he gave him a new name, he told him, persist with God. In other words, he's telling him who he is when he tells him who he is. Ooh, that's good. Thank you, Lord. I haven't thought about that yet. We realize who God is when God tells us who we are. We don't. We can hear about it. I don't want to run this rabbit for a minute because I like it. Amen. We don't realize. We can hear all about him. I can tell you how good he is. But until we're like that woman that was taken in adultery and he sits down beside us, uh, when we end up at his feet uh, and he sits down beside us and tells us who we, we are, uh, uh, we don't know who he really is. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's good. That don't have a thing to do with the message. I just love it. Amen. Uh, 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 so anyway, what we want to bring a message tonight on is out of verse number 26. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And we want to preach tonight for just a moment on the thought, hold on for a blessing. Hold on for a blessing. And like I said, I already talked about it a little bit. Uh, uh, it, it really is odd what's going on here. Uh, uh, but then when we look about at it in context of Jacob's life, there is nothing in Jacob's life that's not odd. We can go back to Genesis chapter 25, verse 23, and before he's ever born, uh, uh, Rebecca was praying and it says, And the Lord said unto her, yeah. Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one shall be stronger, one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Uh, it, it starts out odd before it ever before anything else ever happens. Uh, uh, he says the elder is going to serve the younger. That was not normal. Uh, uh, then we go on in this later on in the same chapter. Uh, uh, we read about Esau uh, 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 coming in. He's hungry, uh, uh, and to satisfy the desire of his flesh, uh, he sells Jacob his birthright. Uh, now the Lord was going to sell say in advance, uh, uh, and he sells it just for a bowl of soup, a bowl of pottage, is what the Bible says. Uh, 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 and now if the Lord was going to say in advance, the elder is going to serve the younger, nobody would have said, this is how it's going to happen. Yeah. Nobody would have said, this is, he's going to, uh, he's going to, his brother's going to come in hungry and he's going to refuse to give him a bowl of soup unless he sells him his birthright. None of us would write that. None of us was right uh, uh, not very long after that uh, uh, in chapter 27 uh, 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 that when Isaac is about to die uh, uh, soon thereafter uh, uh, no one was right that, that, that he would go in and his mother would tell him uh, uh, you go impersonate your brother uh, and your, your dad's about blind now uh, so he's not going to be able to tell uh, uh, you tell him you're, you're his, your brother and he'll give you the elder son's blessing. None of us would write that because this is who God's going to use to make His chosen people. None of, uh, this is, uh, if I can say it this way, this is the Superman. Uh, 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 nobody writes that Superman uh, uh, is the bad guy and, uh, and he does these things that, that are not exactly what, what, what we think should be done. Uh, uh, nobody would write that, but the Lord would. <laughs> See, we have to remember what the Lord was doing here. See, it sounds really odd. But we've got to remember that the Lord was writing a book. And so when we read about the oddness, and I'm, just, I'm kind of hung up on that word, but, but just because it is. But as we read about that, we've got to remember the Lord had a purpose, and His purpose was that we read it. His purpose was, uh, uh, amen, was not just uh, uh, to set up a people. His purpose was not just to pass on a birthright. Uh, uh, his purpose was uh, uh, to set up something uh, uh, that would write His book in a way that we could say, 1 Corinthians 10 11, I know I use it all the time, uh, 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 but it just proves my point. Uh, now all these things happen unto them for examples, uh, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. 
from. And so as we look down through the strangeness of Jacob's life, I believe we can see something very familiar. See, it might sound strange until we take it and we put it down on our level. Let me get to what I mean. We're preaching on hang on for a blessing. So the first thing I want to look at then is the Lord's question in verse number 27. Now, in 26, and he said, let me go from the day break. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And the Lord immediately responds with, and he said unto them, what is thy name? Now, I mentioned it a minute ago, but uh, just to, to hammer this home, this is not the first time that Jacob has been asked this question. This is a question that Jacob has been asked before. Uh, uh, if we go uh, uh, back to chapter number 27, uh, uh, and we look at verses 18 and 19, this is when I was talking about when Jacob came in uh, to, to take his brother's blessing, and it says, and he came unto his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, who art thou, my son? Now we look, he's about to try to get a blessing here in verse chapter number 27. And, he, and Isaac says, Who art thou, my son? Jacob's looking for a blessing again here in Genesis chapter 33. And he says, in verse 27, What is thy name? The same question asked twice. In chapter 27, he answers, And he came unto his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. Now he fooled his dad. Well, let me tell you this this evening. I've been, uh, side note, I've been waiting to use this for months. So I, I listened to a message and someone said this a few months ago. And I've loved it ever since. And the Lord just hasn't let me use it yet till tonight. Which I say that to say this. If he didn't let me use it till tonight, I assume there's a reason he's having to use it tonight. God cannot bless who we're pretending to be. That's right. Amen. The first time Jacob was asked the same question, he said he was something that he wasn't. Amen. That's good. The first time, uh, uh, and amen, uh, uh, he might have pulled uh, uh, the wool over the eyes of an old blind man. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, I can stand here before you tonight uh, uh, and I can act like I've got everything figured out. Uh, uh, I don't have a smile right now. I do. I'm quite happy. I've had a wonderful day. But, uh, uh, but what I'm, I'm trying to say is this. Uh, uh, I can come in on a day when it wasn't a wonderful day. Uh, I can paint a smile on my face. Uh, I can act like everything's fine. Uh, uh, I can come in. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, we can come in with sin in our heart. Uh, uh, we can come in with condemnation on our soul. Uh, uh, and we can put on uh, uh, the best act that's ever been. Uh, uh, and we can fool anybody. Right. I can even fool myself. I've tried. And yet, there's one person I cannot fool. Amen. We can come in. We can act like we've got everything figured out. We can act like we're the holiest thing that's ever walked on God's green earth since John wrote Revelation. Or we can be honest with ourselves. And we can say we all made out of the same old stuff. And we, all say, we can say this. Well, if the Apostle Paul said, that he struggled with the flesh. Maybe I shouldn't act like I don't. Uh, 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 maybe, uh, uh, amen, uh, 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 if we get down on a level uh, uh, and stop acting like, uh, uh, amen, that we've got every answer there's ever been, uh, 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 we can uh, uh, be in the same situation Jacob is here. Because we, I can tell you who I ain't fooling. I can tell you who. I, I just use I. I want you all to understand this. I use I a lot. Not because I'm trying to make it about me, because I, when I'm saying something harsh, I want it to be about me, so nobody can say that I was taking it to them. The I can fool you, let me say it that way, just like Jacob fooled Isaac, but I cannot fool God. Amen. And let me say it this way, if you're the one giving out the blessings, as Isaac can, as Isaac was, and your blessing is a hand clap or a Pat on the back, I can get that. But if I want the blessings of God, if I want the anointing of God, if I want the power of God, if I want the approval of the Lord, amen, it's going to take honesty yeah. about who we are. And this is where the accuser
accuser of the brethren, the loud mouth, the prince of power of the air, also known as Blowhard, comes in. And he'll say things like, for you to be blessed, you need to preach like Clarence. For you to sing, for you to be blessed in singing, you've got to sing like Sandy. For you to be a blessed in a testimony, you've got to give a testimony like Teddy gives. Let me tell you, if the, if the Lord wanted a Clarence message, He'd give the classes to Clarence. Amen. If the Lord wanted a Sandy song, He'd give the song to Sandy. If the Lord wanted a, a, a you get what I'm trying to say, a, 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 we cannot be somebody that we're not. A, a, a Brother Mays Jackson, a, 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 he would always say, a, I've heard it in a couple of different messages, a, a, the Lord didn't call but one Mays Jackson, you can only be you. A, 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 and so, a, a, amen, a, 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 whatever testimony God gives you, a, a, you don't have to try to worry about if it fits somebody else. A, a, amen, that's what the Lord has for you. Just be honest a, 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 and give it for the God. God's glory. Uh, whatever song the Lord's given you, uh, uh, amen, God cannot bless who you're pretending to be. Uh, 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 God cannot bless who you think you want to be. Uh, uh, but God absolutely, uh, 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 amen, uh, uh, God absolutely can bless who you are. Amen. So the Lord already knew who he was. But he wanted to make sure that Jacob knew who he was. He had to make sure that Jacob knew he wasn't giving him a blessing because he thought he was somebody else. Let me tell you something tonight. Thank you, Lord. When the Lord blesses, it ain't because he thinks you're perfect. Amen. <laughs> That's good, Lord. Thank you. I didn't like it. This is mostly fresh off the mind tonight. Thank you, Lord. When the Lord gives a blessing, he knows exactly who you are. When the Lord reaches down to save, it ain't because He thinks you ain't never been into that. When the Lord reaches down and forgive, it ain't because He don't know the way your heart was before you got sought forgiveness. He knows and He blesses anyway. He knows and He forgives anyway. What a love that is. Alright. So if we're going to receive the blessing, we're preaching on hang on for a blessing. I'm, I'm getting one already. Amen. Uh, so if we're, going to, if we're going to receive the blessing, it's going to take honesty about who we are, but if we're also going to hang on for a blessing, the second thing we're going to have to do is keep going through the pain. Now, if I, I have pictured this wrong forever, uh, and I just never realized it, never, uh, I guess just, it just didn't click. I have always had this confused that I thought that the, the touch, when the Lord touched Jacob, that that either came, uh, I, every time I pictured it, I pictured it either, either like during the time that he was being blessed or, or after he was blessed. That ain't when it happened. It says, and Jacob was alone, uh, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. In other words, that's before, and then verse number 26 is I, is, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. The touch came in verse 25. In other words, what I'm saying is this. Sometimes we have to endure the pain before the blessing can come. And sometimes in our life, we give up the blessing by stopping during the pain. Sometimes in our life, uh, uh, we miss out uh, on the blessings that God has for us uh, uh, because the hard time comes uh, and instead of uh, staying right where we need to be, uh, uh, instead of staying right where we can get the help that we need, uh, uh, instead of staying right where we can find the joy uh, uh, and the peace right then, uh, uh, is when we give up uh, and when we turn around uh, and we say, well, that's it. Uh, it's over. I'm hurt. Uh, uh, oh, and he stayed right there with him. Uh, I thought it out to... Uh, uh, Mark chapter 5, as I was reading this, that was the, uh, uh, what came to my mind. Verse number 21, it says, And when Jesus was passed over again by ship on the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus 
went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. He's hanging on. That's wonderful. He started out. He had a problem. He went to Jesus. He's doing everything right. Then we get down to verse number 30. After 24, let me say this. After 24, I'm not going to read it all. After 24, Jesus starts with him. And then something else happens. Yeah. A lady with an issue of blood comes up behind the Lord. Touches him. Touches the hem of his garment. Virtue comes out of him. She's healed. And if that's all that happens, this man don't even know it. Everything's fine. He's still doing good. But then in verse 30, And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? Now this man still has a need. This man's still holding on. He still has a need. But now Jesus stopped. And we read the next few verses. Jesus is standing there uh, 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 and He's saying, who touched, uh, uh, who touched me? And his disciples said unto Him, Thou seest the one too strong in thee and sayest thou who touched me? And, uh, and He looked round about uh, to see her. Uh, I just picture this is uh, it's probably only taking a couple of minutes, but to the man whose daughter is dying, this is eternity. Just come on. Just, just come on. She needs you. He's hanging on. And then the pain comes. Verse number 35, And while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the yeah, synagogue, man. Be not afraid, only believe. This man has to hold on for the blessing the whole way home, knowing that when he gets there, his daughter is going to be dead. But he holds on. And when he gets there, you'd think that would be enough. But when he gets there, there's still more. It says in verse number 39, And when he was come in, he saith unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. Not only does he, thank you Lord, not only does he have to have faith, when it looks like there's no faith to be had. When not only does he have to have hope, when it looks like there's no hope to get the blessing, he's got to deal with people telling him he's dumb for having that faith. <coughs> to get to the blessing, he has to go through the pain and the discouragement. But oh, what a blessing. And then, uh, I just want to read it. Uh, Y'all know what happens, but I just love it. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Tally me, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise, and straightway the damsel arose and walked. Uh, 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 and so uh, 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 we realize, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, he had to, uh, to hold on through the pain. Uh, uh, but after the pain uh, uh, comes the blessing. Psalms 30 and 5 said this, For his anger endureth but a moment, uh, uh, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, uh, uh, but joy cometh in the morning. Uh, uh, understand this tonight, uh, uh, every pain in our life is not going to end. But every pain in our life is going to end. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Every pain in our life is not going to end in this life. I pray a lot of them do. And I'm blessed whether some of them do or not. But it will end. Joy come in. Amen. Thank you. Joy cometh every morning. Joy cometh every morning. But joy, and I, I just just run with me for a minute, alright? I know I'm not making any sense. Joy cometh every morning. Uh, amen. Every morning, uh, 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 his mercies are new every morning. Uh, 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 but this doesn't say uh, uh, joy cometh every morning. It says the morning. Uh, 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 there's a morning coming. Uh, uh, amen. And he, the only reason the Bible can say, uh, 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 thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, and now everybody pictures uh, uh, it being morning in Kanawha County, Sissonville, uh, Island Ridge Road, uh, uh, when the Lord comes and the sun's just peeking over the horizon. Uh, uh, but the only reason the Lord can say for certain uh, that he's coming back. In the morning uh, uh, is because at some point uh, every day, uh, uh, every hour, every minute, it is morning somewhere. Amen. Morning somewhere. All right. And when I say that, all right, I, I promise y'all, thirty more seconds with this part of this this rabbit. That's why he can say his mercies are new every morning too. I think about. 
How can God, who has infinite mercy, say His mercy is new every morning? How can it be new? Because it's always morning. It's always morning. That's why it can always be new. Uh, uh, because it's always morning. It's eternally morning. Uh, he's got eternal mercy. Uh, uh, amen. So the last thing, uh, I promise we move on. Uh, uh, the last thing, uh, uh, if we're going to hold on for the blessing, we're going to have to get alone with the Lord. Now everything up to this point in Jacob's life, Jacob's life had been through or by someone else. Everything he'd ever had was because his dad was Isaac. His mother instructed him on how to steal the blessing. That wasn't even his idea. He went. His wives uh, uh, came because uh, uh, his dad sent him to Uncle Laban's house. He got those because of who he was, through who his family was. And those blessings are good. Don't get me wrong. Those are good blessings. I'm blessed by family. I'm blessed by friends. I'm blessed by these things. But if I want a blessing of my own, if I want the blessings of God, uh, 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 amen, when I come into the house of God and I hear about your blessings, uh, that's wonderful and it blesses me. Uh, uh, but if I want a blessing uh, of my own from heaven, uh, 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 amen, it requires an individual experience. Verse, chapter, verse 23 and 24, And he took them, talking about his, the ones that was left, he'd already sent the rest, his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons, and he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. In other words, everybody that had been around him at this point was now apart from him, and he had time to get alone with the Lord. When was the last time we got alone with God in our prayer closet, in our study, wherever that is for you, in our meditation time and just Thinking about the Lord. Have we ever? When was the last time we. And the Lord was convicted on it earlier. Somebody was saying something. I don't even remember what it was now because I was listening to him. But I, sometimes I'll, I'll have a problem at work and it'll just bug me. And I'll think about it in the evening and I'll think about it when I wake back up in the morning. And I, When was the last time I was that bugged by the Word of God? When was the last time? Uh, 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 amen. Uh, uh, I'm not saying I quit studying. Uh, uh, he wouldn't give me a message if I did that. I guarantee it. Uh, 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 but, uh, but, uh, but what I'm saying is this. Uh, uh, when was the last time I woke up bothered by the Word of God? Uh, 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 and I mean bothered in the best way. Uh, 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 amen. When was the last time uh, uh, that we took it upon ourselves? Uh, uh, not. Uh, uh, amen. Church is wonderful. We need it. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. Uh, 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 but I'm not in church every day of the week. Uh, uh, and even if I am in church every day of the week, I'm just speaking for Brother Roger, because right, he is. Uh, 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 I'm not in church 24 hours a day, uh, uh, but God is on the throne always. Uh, uh, amen. When was the last time that we spent our time making sure to set aside time to get along with Him, not with somebody else? Because if we're going to hold on to the blessing, we're going to have to make it an individual experience. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask You to tie together the message, Lord, I feel like I was all over the place tonight, but Lord, I feel blessed doing it. So Lord, I just trust you, Lord, to take it and apply it to every heart, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you've given us, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you've never left us standing without. Lord, that you've always anointed and you've always provided, Lord, I want to thank you. Lord, I ask you to take the message, apply it to every heart, Lord. Lord, uh, I never know, Lord. I'm glad I don't usually at least. Uh, every now and then I know something, but almost never, Lord, know the reason for the message. And I'm thankful that I don't, Lord, because if I did, I'd never sleep. But Lord, uh, I'm glad you know. So Lord, whatever part it was, whether it be something that was part of the main message or a rabbit, Lord, whatever was needed tonight, Lord, I pray you'd make that stand out for each one, Lord. I'm glad only you can preach one message that be a help to each one, Lord. I can't do that. So I just pray you'd apply it to every heart, Lord, and let all of us, Lord, be not forgetful hearers, but doers of thy word. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.